it's time to go ahead and check this trap. And if you can see here behind me, the sun is starting to set. Uh, I don't dare leave any of these nylon mesh traps in the water after dark. The occurrence of turtles ripping them open, or a curious opossum or raccoon actually pulling them up, and again, ripping them open to either get the bait or get the dog food that I put inside, is just too great. It happens quite often. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out, clean it out, let's see what we found, and uh, hopefully this double triangle trap has worked. Okay, and it definitely has. And my previous concerns of actually the fish not being able to make their way into the second chamber seems to be unfounded. So take a look here. I've got a little bit of bait that's made its way into the other chamber. And hopefully you can see that those are mollies. This is a perch, about a two inch long perch. And in the center compartment, I see a crawfish in there. So there's a crawdad and several other unfortunate guppies and minnows and perch of various kinds. So a successful trap. That was only about two hours in the water. I'd say uh, definitely worth $10. So bait is still in there. I could probably leave that out for about six or seven hours in this condition at this time. Uh, pretty proud of this trap. I think I'll probably get a couple other ones, but good stuff. Double triangle trap. Get one. It's time to go ahead and check this trap. And if you can see here behind me, the sun is starting to set. Uh, I don't dare leave any of these nylon mesh traps in the water after dark. The occurrence of turtles ripping them open, or a curious opossum or raccoon actually pulling them up, and again, ripping them open to either get the bait or get the dog food that I put inside, is just too great. It happens quite often. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out, clean it out. Let's see what we found. And uh, hopefully...